This video illustrates a second alternative to sharing your VoiceThread with a group. From your My Voice page, locate the VoiceThread that you want to share and click on the menu gear icon in the lower right corner that says Show Options. From there, click on Share. From this page, what you want to do is locate the name of the group on the left that you want to share the VoiceThread with and click on it once. Now note that it has not been shared yet. You've only selected the group. To share the voice thread with the group, what you want to do is select from the icons here. The icon on the right gives the group commenting access. The icon on the left only gives them view access. So if you want your entire group tool to view and comment, you'll need to click on both of those. And you'll notice that after I click on them, they light up over here next to each member. So the entire group now has view and commenting access to the voice thread. You're also going to notice, however, that you can also grant editing privileges to each member of your group. I'm not going to do that here, but just so you know that you can. And by doing that, your students will then have the ability to actually upload slides into the voice thread as well. But it should be noted that those students also will have the ability to delete slides or even the entire voice thread. So that's a risk that you want to keep your arms around. And that's it. After the yellow icons are highlighted, you can simply close this window and um, your voice thread has been shared. You can check by going back to your My Voice page and clicking on the name of the group. And you will see the voice thread there.